Okay, solid steppers. I'm headed out here to take a look at this oven. I heard to make a quick pit stop. One was good old Publix, my main stomping ground. We can grab some cashews so I can stay a little healthy and get refreshed for the stop. Also needed to make some calls because there's some things going on in the field. And what I want to talk about at this point is communicating with your customer and your staff along with your subs. I got a uh, tech out working on an LG job. And you know, you get so lazy with the LGs to the point, you think they all take the, the same compression. Some kept telling me, don't believe the hype. So I went in and rechecked the compressor and the compressor is actually different. Which definitely threw a monkey wrench in the game. So I just uh, had a conversation with the tech on site reached out to the customer, gave her a heads up, and uh, rescheduled for Monday evening, if need be. That will give us time to get the proper part. I already checked all my options to check and see who has it, who doesn't, and uh, made everything nice, cool, and, and clean. And that's what I'm talking about. A lot of times when you run into a hiccup, people are afraid to communicate with the customer. If you communicate with the customer and tell you the truth, tell them the truth, then you got a great relationship. Up here trying to hide the issues and the things going on from a customer is not going to help you, your brand, or your people. You know? It's not the responsibility of your staff to run your business. It's your responsibility to run the business. And if you're running into issues with the business, guess what? You need to look in the mirror and look at you. Who are you communicating with? Are you communicating with a timely and with them in a timely manner? Then are you resolving the issues? Those are the questions you gotta continually ask yourself. Now that may make me about 15 minutes off uh, my appointment, but at least when I get to the appointment, I'm gonna be able to focus, take care of the client, and not have a problem. Now the key is, is my sub gonna follow my lead? Or is he going to mother the waters is going to be the next thing. Because the reality is when you deal with people, you have a way you deal, do business. And in their mind, they have a way they want to do it. You know, they're like, oh, I don't want to have to come back. I don't want to do this. If he try to make this thing work, it's going to be a problem. You know, because I already see the writing on the wall. But I'm going to have faith on him, in him and hope he see what I see that it's not going to work. We do not want to try to put something around in a square hole. But you'd be surprised what people will do. Trust me. Been that, done that. They've seen it. So I have faith in my guy, so I'm sure he's going to handle it appropriately. But I did my part by communicating with the client, letting her know what was going on and the possibilities, and resolving the issue before it became one. Luckily, this client has a backup fridge. You never want your customer to be wondering what the hell is going on. Never. You never want them to have room for doubt. The only way a customer has room for doubt is if you do not keep your commitments at what you say you're going to do. Going back to communication. The only time your staff have issues is when you do not keep up your commitment and your, what you say you're going to do. And that's what everybody has problems with. All you have to do is communicate. People know things are going to happen, but how are you communicating with your customers before the problem, after the problem, or during the problem? You are the problem solver. Once you realize you're the problem solver, no matter what's going on, you got the answer. As long as you know that, trust and believe that, you'll be fine. I'm telling you, head off issues before they become a problem. I cannot reiterate that. At the end of the day, it is not your staff's responsibility to solve the problem. We want them to. We want them to step up and be big boys and girls. Like, bro, if you come across this street, I'm trying to slow down so you can get across here. Yeah. Yeah. Discussing business, man. Acts of faith. Acts of faith. But like I said, people, always communicate with your customer communicate with your staff so you can sleep at night and resolve the issues before they become one that's that lesson and that tip for the day be blessed i'm almost to my client have an outstanding weekend